We've been a leader in banking for more than 100 years. You'll find us here, at home, on your phone, and everywhere you go. Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Good morning. Welcome to Daily Journal News Break, sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Today's Thursday, October 11th, and I'm your host, Elizabeth Walters. We're going to take a look at today's top news and sports stories across northeast Mississippi, but first, a look at your weather forecast. Today, we'll have mostly cloudy skies early, then sunshine in the afternoon. Today's high will be around 72, with a low around 48. And over the next three days, on Friday, we'll have sunny skies with a high of 71 and a low of 52. Saturday, partly cloudy with a high of 70 and a low of 58. And on Sunday, an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Sunday's high will be around 76 with a low of 60. Here's a look at some of today's top headlines. A jury has found the man charged in the, two, in the January 2016 stabbing death of Ronnie Duke guilty of first degree murder. According to testimony, Duke started a fight with Stanley Pace over a video game, and after the fight broke up, another one started a short time later, and Pace stabbed Duke numerous times after Pace picked up a replica Civil War sword and told a witness he was going to kill Duke. Pace claimed self-defense and said he could not remember much about the incident and didn't remember moving Duke's body later. Circuit Court Judge Paul Funderburg sentenced Pace to life in prison. And for the fifth consecutive month, Concord Airlines reports over 1,000 boardings finishing September with the hot second highest tally for the airline since it began service in 2016. So far this year, Contour has boarded 9,171 passengers, and the improved boarding numbers are partly due to Contour's move to add more seats to its planes earlier this year. And Contour is expected to make another big move next spring, beginning jet service in April. The ERJ-35 can be configured to seat 30 to 37 passengers which will allow Contour to book more people at one time, but the swap would cut the number of round-trip flights between Tupelo and Nashville from 30 to 18. The airline said it's on track to make the switch to jet service in the second quarter of next year. And 33 high schools from across the region are preparing to perform their shows this weekend in the annual MHSAA Region 1 Marching Band Evaluation at Tupelo High. Through the years, some 90,000 band students have come to Tupelo for the evaluation, with thousands of parents, relatives, and friends cheering for their own schools as well as others. The competition will begin at 9 a.m., and Class 1A, 2A, and 3A awards will be given at 1 o'clock. Tupelo High will be the last to perform at 543, followed by the Itawamba Community College All-American Band. Class 4A, 5A, and 6A awards will be given at 630, and the Mississippi Invitational Marching Classic will start at 745. Among the bands performing will be the five-time defending Class 3A champion Boonville. The Blue Devil show this year is titled Wish, and director Josh Forsythe said it's a high-energy show and they have to hope to have a good run. Gates open at 8 a.m. on Saturday. The marching band evaluation tickets are $8, while tickets for the Invitational Classic are 7 A combo ticket that allows entry into both events is $12. And in sports, Mantachi softball picked up a huge win Tuesday night, knocking off top seeded Nettleton in the Class 2 slow pitch playoffs. And they're one of nine area teams preparing for quarterfinal action tonight. The Lady Mustangs now face another one seed in South Pontotoc. In Class 3 action, Tupelo will travel to Neshoba Central. And in Class 2, Amory and Tishomingo County will face off with the winner taking on the South Pontotoc and Mantachi winner. In Class 1 action, East Union and Hamilton will face off, while East Webster and Smithville will play with... Uh, with the winners of those games facing each other in the state semifinals next Tuesday. And you can follow all the action from our sports team on Twitter using the hashtag DJPreps. And that does it for News Break on this Thursday. Don't forget that this show is one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal that gets you news off the page and on the go. And be sure to check out the latest episode of the Double Coverage podcast. Host Paris Alford and Logan Lowry talk to Tom Murphy of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette about the Rebels showdown with the Hogs this weekend in Little Rock and the Bulldogs building momentum after last week's win against Auburn. You can listen in iTunes, Google Play, or at doublecoverage.djournal.com. Each story discussed today on Newsbreak can be found in your daily journal or online at djournal.com, where you can find a new episode of Newsbreak each weekday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Walters. Have a great afternoon.